Hello and welcome to New Journeys Counselling. My name is Marianne. I'm the owner and the therapist at New Journeys. I provide counselling to couples, to individuals with depression, to individuals with stress, and I also work with individuals where they're struggling to move on from previous relationships or trust issues. So today's video is called Five Ways to Reconnect with Your Partner When You've Lost the Connection. So if you've been watching me for a while, or you've been on my Facebook page, or my LinkedIn, or anything like that, I do quite a lot of videos around communication for couples. I've also wrote an article about um, relationship goals and reconnecting before. So if you want that information, then you can always go to my Facebook page, NU Journeys Counselling. You can find me on LinkedIn, I'm under my own name, Marianne Hanson. YouTube and New Journeys Counselling. There's lots of places you can find me, but obviously if you're watching this video, you found me here. So you can subscribe and you'll get similar videos. So today, I want to just give you five steps to reconnect with your partner. And because I'm a couples counsellor, some of these are tips that I've given to the couples that I work with. Some of it's from previous experience of me being in my own relationships. And then the rest is just um, from knowledge, really, and experience of what I feel works. Now, certain things are going to work for certain couples and some things are not. Everyone's different. Every relationship is different. So when I make these videos, I'm just seeing if, you know, it's something that you can try or something that you can relate to. So tip number one, I have taken notes, so I might look down a few times, is to remember what attracted you to the person in the first place. When you're going through that phase where this person is just irritating you, where you know, you're know bickering, where there's nothing you can think of that you like about your partner, you're still together, but they just get on your nerves, <laughs> basically. One of the ways that you can reconnect and stop viewing them as an um, irritating person, someone that you just want to leave you alone, you know, is to try to remember what attracted to you to them in the first place. You know, if there's something that you fell in love with or you liked, there's a reason that you're still together. So if you can reconnect with that tiny thing, sometimes all the other things that are irritating you at that particular time will disappear or they might not seem as big. So that's the first thing to try and do. Try to think about, it could be anything little, you know, maybe you were attracted to your partner's personality, maybe it was their smile, maybe it was the way they used to make you cups of tea, you know, but if it's the small things, I think it's kind of giving you permission to say, well, yeah, they're getting on my nerves now, or we're not getting on at the moment, but I know this is still something that I find attractive about my partner. So tip number two is compliments, okay? One of the best ways to reconnect or even to connect with any human being really is to give them a compliment. Um, we take it for granted in relationships that your partner's going to sort of say nice things to you all the time. But the couples I work with, but also when you're in a relationship where things are going wrong, you're having a downtime, lots of the things that you would normally do disappear. So the compliments go out the window because you know, you're not in the mood really to give compliments when you've just had a big row. And this is the right time to do it. So if you can think of a compliment that you know that your partner would appreciate, it will help you to reconnect with them. They might not necessarily receive it if they're not ready to, but you've still given it. So maybe say something about, you know, how great they are with the kids, how wonderful um, they are at making sure you feel okay. It could be anything, how beautiful they look. It could be anything, but just, I would say compliments are a great way to reconnect. The third thing is intimacy and affection. So I'm not talking about, you know, having to um, get really physical, whether it's to have sex or whether it's to, you know, you might not be at that level. When you disconnect from a person, it can be hard to even want to be around them physically or to even have them touch you because what happens is you're building up this resentment or you're building up um, anger or whatever the feeling is, it means you put that person is at arm's length 
And that's why some of these things are to help you slowly reconnect. So what I would suggest is don't try and force it into being, you might be in two separate rooms. So the idea of them saying, right, my partner's going to move back into my room and we're going to have this great sex life that we used to have. That might not happen because that's too much. So what I'm suggesting is create the intimacy and affection slowly. So it could be starting with you sitting on the same chair when you're watching TV on the sofa, sit next to each other. It could be just a kiss on the cheek. It could be a hug. It could be just affection in terms of anything that you can think of. The small types of intimacy and affection will help you to reconnect slowly and then maybe that will lead to something more. The fourth thing is open heart conversations. What I mean by that is to where you really, really connect <coughs> and share your feelings with your partner. Share your feelings about something that you've even never told them before. It could be something from your past, it could be something that you just want them to know, but it could be just a deep story or something that will help that person to know you and connect with you. Or it could just be how you feel about them, how you feel about the relationship. If the relationship is going bad, how about just sitting down and saying, rather than, oh, you're doing this wrong, you never help me with this, this relationship's rubbish because you don't talk, this relationship, not, that's not what I mean by open heart conversation. How about saying, I'm really struggling with how this relationship's going right now. It's really hurting me because we used to have it so good. What I want for this relationship in the future is for us to go back to how we were. Because when you're saying things like that, it means you're not putting the blame on one person. You're talking about what you want and you're being open, you know, you're sharing with the person. So it's a good way to connect. And the final thing is special time or time together as a couple. Now, obviously, most people say that, you know, most relationship um, experts or well, everyone says it, <laughs> you need date time, you need date night. But what I'm talking about is date night or special time where there's no distractions. You put the phone away, you know, you're not spending time together, but one of you's on the laptop. You are just taking time out specifically for the two of you. You can't reconnect with a person when the connection's gone if you don't have that time to yourself. Because it's really easy sometimes in a relationship to distract yourself so that you don't have to be with the person. Maybe you spend time doing everything with the kids purposely sometimes because you to avoid the person. Maybe you've got in-laws living with you, so that means you don't have to spend as much time. Maybe you use um, you spend longer at work. There's lots of when you're not getting on with the person. There's lots of ways you can avoid connection. So this is a good way of you reconnecting. You know, book a table, go out for a meal, just the two of you, leave your phones at home. Um, even better, instead of being indoors, why not, with the weather being nice, go for a long walk together, just the two of you. You know, um, hold hands, walk up some hills somewhere, do an activity that you both enjoy. Whatever it is, the key thing is that you do it together, and then it's time to reconnect. So I hope you found this video useful. If you are a couple, and you feel that you know you've lost that reconnection or if you're an individual and you just find that you can't connect with um, relationships that you've been in or that you can't leave the past in the past then please get in touch you can email me at nujourneys at yahoo.com or you can find all my other information on my videos and please leave your comments i'd love to hear what you think of the video and you can subscribe you can like you can share if you think it would be useful for others thank you for watching and see you soon Bye.